As a child, my mom was always into wearing wigs and she never um, taught me how to do my hair. So I remember one time I found her flat iron and I just went to town on my head and burnt my scalp like so terribly. And to make matters worse, I actually put the flat iron on the carpet and burnt a hole in the carpet after that. Hi, my name is Ariella Alessi. Um, I'm a model and I would say dancer too. I always loved that my hair had a lot of volume. Like, I remember a lot of my friends who weren't African American, they would tease their hair. And I was always like, what is that? Like, a hairspray, like never touched hairspray. I would just kind of do one of these little head shakes and my hair would just be perfect. And I love having curly hair because I think it's like personality. It brings a lot more to the table. Like, I don't know, it kind of just makes you feel like a presence more. Straight hair to me feels boring, but that's just my own opinion. I would say more recently, I started discovering the world of weaves and wigs and extensions. And that not only taught me how to change my hairstyle up frequently, but it showed me you have to take care of your hair in between those things. And I think we, I kind of like gained a mutual respect for my hair. And hopefully my hair respects me back now because I wrap it up at night and put the oils in it. You know, you have to condition it with the right things and really go out of your way to maybe wait two weeks on Amazon to get the right things, you know? But your hair will pay you back in love and curl pattern as long as you take good care of it. Um, yeah, actually like three months ago when I first shaved my head and dyed my hair blonde, I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, this is it. Like, this is the look that I've always wanted to have. Something edgy, something different. And it was really liberating and I, I loved that. Just rip that right off. Ta-da! <laughs> yeah, mess it up, mess it up. I honestly, I went through a breakup. And the guy I was dating, I was like, I really want to shave my head for like six months. I was like, I want to shave half of it at least. And he was like, no, don't. You have to like, I love the long hair because my hair was a little longer. It was getting longer day by day. And as soon as I broke up with him, I was like, damn, I gotta do that. Like for me, I went to a barber shop. I went to a black owned barber shop because I was like, if I'm gonna get it cut, if I'm gonna get my hair buzzed, I'm gonna do it right. And he was like, are you, one, uh, for sure, because I've never done this to a woman before. And I was like, let's get it. And I will never forget, like, watching it all just, like, hit the ground. And I FaceTimed my mom when it was happening. She's like, oh, my God. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then I went to Ralph's, and I didn't even need anything at Ralph's. I literally was just like, <laughs> I'm going to show, show off my hair. I would recommend it. If you have long hair, shave your head once. You, your neck will feel <laughs> completely different. You know, you could get your wig snatched. I, I've never got mine wig snatched before, but I have seen a girl get a wig snatched. I didn't know that was really possible because when I got a weave the first time, it was sewn in. And I was just like, oh, bet. You have to glue it down, and you have to do your edges, and you have to wear a cap, and you have to make sure you wash it and brush it and, and hang it up at night. And you know, it's like having two sets of hair. It's like having a small dog, actually. But it's like a good collection of small dogs. Small dogs. <laughs> okay. So I never knew how to do my hair and I never wanted it to be curly because everyone would make fun of me, like would touch it and ask me why I had a fro. It just made me feel weird and alienated. But once I went away to California, I came out here and I really was able to find myself and people complimented my hair. And when I went to Miami for swim week, people were like, are you Brazilian? Like your hair's so curly and cute. And I was like, what? This is amazing. Honestly, I kind of feel like Black hair is the thing right now. I'm super grateful that people have realized how amazing it is and how beautiful it is and how lucky we are to have, you know, braids and locks and different types of curly hair, different kinky curls and things like that. You know, you walk past somebody that might look like you, but her hair might be completely different. And I think that that's amazing. We have to just always keep 
appreciating and loving our natural hair as much as we love the wigs that we wear, as much as we love the weaves we wear, you know? I have to take that wig off all the time and look at myself and remember like, I'm, this is dope, like I love this hair and I'm lucky to have this hair at all. Everyone has completely different hair and it's amazing.